welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Stephanie Opplinger. I'm an artist, writer, and musician from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I did my first painting of the year. Mademoiselle, I named it because I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> That's terrible. Mademoiselle, it is a fashion portrait. We have a woman in a beautiful, ridiculously beautiful green coat. All right, without further ado, here we go. <laughs> There is something out here in the mists, a terrible longing within the bitter winter winds for green fens and blooming mountainsides, a keen yearning for the wilds to turn back to life again. In the face of the stark coldness of winter here in Pennsylvania, I was captivated by all the shades of green in my paint collection. Winter is long and bleak, but in the spring and summer, this must be one of the most green places on earth. When the time for winter is finally over, the rolling hills and forests of green in every direction the eye can see can be an overwhelmingly breathtaking sight. Spring isn't here yet. We are still in the depth of winter. Sometimes the bad weather makes the perfect excuse to hibernate inside and paint and write all day, but the urge can get a little old. Color and sunshine are sometimes as essential to human beings as they are to the plants. I've been thinking a lot lately about winter and spring as metaphors for life. We each have different phases in our lives, sometimes the good and sometimes the bad, and sometimes the in-between. I have been feeling that a new spring is coming finally for a lot of us who have been waiting for so long. Even though I just turned a leaf on a new decade, I don't feel as though I have lived my prime or my heyday yet. Turning 30 was really quite daunting for me. I wasn't expecting all these emotions about my life to come bubbling up to the surface. I thought I would be overjoyous for a whole new decade of possibilities. Instead, I stumbled and I looked back. Two different careers that I hated, no long-lasting romantic partnerships, all the times I let people have too much power over me and my life, how I let life get in the way of my dreams, how I failed again and again to believe in myself, how I still sometimes allow these things. Honestly, mostly just not believing in myself. But that's okay, we all have self-doubts, right? And none of us will ever get there if we don't face those doubts and eliminate them. It's not an overnight battle, but I have been learning the power of talking to myself with kindness and love. I tell you all this not because I like to hear myself talk, or because I like being so vulnerable with who knows who will watch my videos, but because if you are drawn to this video, then perhaps you too need to hear the message of loving yourself more. Speak kindly to yourself. How would you speak to a friend, to a child, to your lover? Speak to yourself that way too. Protect yourself that way too. Cheer yourself on that way too. And if you need someone to tell you so, I give you permission to love yourself more. I repeat that again. 
I give you permission to love yourself more. And so that's what I'm going to start doing. Instead of saying, girl, you can't do that. You're stupid. You're awful. Nobody would like that. Nobody would like you. No. I'm not going to say things like that to myself anymore. I'm going to say, girl, you're amazing. Girl, you can do it. Girl, people are going to love this and people are going to love you. Girl, get it done. Because, you know, when we believe in something, we act on that something. So when we begin to believe in ourselves, we begin to act on ourselves. When we believe we can do it, we apply for those crazy positions that we've always wanted. When we believe we can do something and we visualize that we can do it, we go and do that. And so this is going to be the year where I believe in myself and I do all the things I've always held back on. And I heard that you too go and make this year the year that you believe in yourself and you go and do all the things you wanted to do. Nothing holds us back but us. So let's believe in ourselves. Let's tell ourselves positive good things. Let's build ourselves up. And let's go and do our dreams. Can I get a name in? Can I get an amen? Secret yearnings no more, spring soon to be upon us, sunlight dancing on the heels of snow. Don't be bitter long, my dear friend, all shall be well and bloom again. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. And hey, don't go anywhere, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications so you get all my videos because I know you'll love them. And if you liked this video, here's some other videos for you to watch. See you later.